Have you ever wanted to start an online business but felt overwhelmed by all the technical setup? Well, before worrying about inventory or payments, there's one thing you need to figure out. How to handle product images efficiently. Multiple sizes, background removal and transformations. The usual image processing headaches. Normally, this would mean spending hours on image editing software and manually processing every single photo. But that's actually no longer needed. I recently discovered something called chain transformations that can automate this entire process. And so in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple product website with automated image processing. For today's demo, we'll build a cloud merch store that sells cloud hoodies. The photos you see here have undergone a series of transformations, enhanced and optimized for the best quality and format delivery. All right, let's get into it. First, we'll need to understand what a chain transformation is. Well, a chain transformation is basically a sequence of edits that run automatically one after another on your images. For example, you could resize an image, then remove the background, and then after that, add a watermark all through one single URL. This means once you define your transformation chain, every single image you upload will instantly go through the same process, saving you hours of manual work. Pretty cool, right? To do this, we'll be using Cloudinary, an end-to-end -end image and video management solution for websites and mobile apps. They cover everything from image and video uploads to storage, transformations, and content delivery. It's free to use with a generous amount of free credits, but later on, if your usage grows, you can always upgrade to a subscription. So yeah, let me hop onto my computer now and I'll walk you through two different approaches to transforming your images with Cloudinary. First through the visual interface, which is great if you're just getting started, and then through the SDK and URL based methods so that you can add it to your actual website code. Alright, so here's the website Cloudinary.com. You can see here that they recently celebrated more than 3 million users. What I love about Cloudinary is that they offer a lot of AI transformations for both video and image assets. Just taking a look at the front page, you can already see things like AI replace color and AI generative fill. But let's now sign up for a free account. You can sign up with email, Google or GitHub. Nice. So I've just logged into my own Cloudinary account and here's the user interface. On the left hand side, you can see there's assets, image, video, media flows, and so on. But today we're primarily going to focus on making chain transformations to your images. So let's click on images and here's the visual interface. If I scroll down a bit, you can see all the image transformations that they offer. And there's actually a lot to choose from. The cool thing about creating a chain transformation is that we can actually use a whole bunch of these on a single image. And the way to do this is by clicking on new transformation. Cool, so here we have a few sample images that we can start experimenting with, but what I'm going to do here is actually use my own assets. I've uploaded a few product images and let's click on this, for example. By the way, I'll attach all of the images that I have on the Cloud Merch store, as well as the sample code so that you can follow along. Let me click on add image and yeah, let's now create a chain transformation. You can see that there's a lot of options available. Anything from simple resizing to rotate and flip, adjusting, colorization effects, and also some AI powered transformations. I can also optimize for the delivery which is very important when it comes to image load time. Okay, let me get started. First, I want to crop the image. So let's say I want a square image that's 800 by 800. Next, I can add another transformation. And this time I'm going to use something generative AI related. So a generative background replace. And I want a purple space galaxy background. Click on apply. Nice. In just a few moments, here's what it comes up with. Let's now add a few more transformations to our chain. So looking at this image, I feel like the saturation is a bit low. So I can just search for saturation and then increase it to 30, for example. Click on apply and you can see the saturation has increased. It might not be as visible because I didn't choose a very strong level, uh, but it looks good to me. But just to verify that the saturation has increased, let's put 100. Okay, yeah, this definitely works. I'm going to reset it back to 30 and let's add one final transformation to our chain. So I'll go with round corners and then 100 for example and then click apply. Perfect, so the image has rounded corners now. So what I've just shown you is how to create a chain transformation on a single image with Cloudinary's visual interface. But if you're a developer looking to do this at scale to hundreds or maybe even thousands of images, I'd recommend going with the SDK method. Now, Cloudinary offers a whole bunch of SDK libraries from backend SDKs to frontend and also mobile. This Cloud Merch store that I built was made using React. So I went with the Cloudinary React SDK. Here's my simple React application on VS Code. I'll leave a link to it in the YouTube video description 
description below if you'd like a copy for yourself. But pretty much this is the code powering the website. And this code right over here is exactly how I was able to perform the transformations on my three images. For example, to increase the saturation by 30, I just had to type in image dot add transformation and then E underscore saturation 30. You might be wondering where I'm getting these exact transformation codes from, but it's actually directly from the Cloudinary documentation. I'll leave a link to that in the description below, but you can see that it's pretty self-explanatory. E background removal removes the background. E gen background replace adds in a generative AI background. And FL layer apply applies a new image to a current one, which is great for adding things like logos or watermarks. Now, the great thing about using the Cloudinary SDK is that you can transform your images as scale. Here, I have three images but there's nothing stopping me from adding in a hundred. By the way, the rest of the code here is just for the website design. So the limited edition cloud hoodie and the available in sizes description. Also the purple coloring, which you can see throughout the website. By the way, let me give you a quick look on the documentation so that you have a better idea of what to do. So here's the documentation for generative AI transformations. If we look at the background replace one, you can see there's E gen background replace, and then you can enter in your prompt. So yeah, definitely make sure you check out their documentation as well as some explainer videos on their own YouTube channel. Okay, now one really cool feature of Cloudinary that I'm really excited to show you is the ability to directly make transformations just through the image URL. What I can do here is copy image address and then I'm going to paste it. The reason I'm doing this is to show you the URL that this image is hosted on. So this URL, you can see pretty much all the transformations that we've given it. So the FL layer and also the saturation and background removal. Now here's the mind blowing part. Let's say I want to change my saturation to 80. All I have to do is replace 30 with 80 in the URL and click on enter. The image is now a lot more saturated. And so what we can see here is that the Cloudinary image URL itself is pretty powerful. Now, if you'd like to build this exact cloud merch store with these transformed images, as I mentioned, I've left a link to all the code in the description below. And if you'd like to launch your own online store or personal portfolio, hopefully today's demo gave you a bit of inspiration. And there you have it. In this video, you've learned how to set up a product website and perform chain transformations on your product images with Cloudinary. Hopefully this gives you a head start to launch your own online store. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.